Shalawam. All glory, praise, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Dub one to the apostles, elders of Great Millstone. Peace and much love, honors, and blessed salutations to the elect of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, which hold fast, steadfastly, and firmly, uh, without their faith wavering, keeping their integrity intact. All we believe in Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai to the end. All right, um, I just want to clarify something. Uh, I made a live earlier where I mentioned the word prerequisite and I used it quite a bit and I wanted to clarify what this means and what it means in perspective of serving Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai when you look at this word prerequisite it means a thing that is required as a prior condition for something else to happen or exist alright again a thing that is required as a prior condition for something else to happen or exist. This means, all right, when I mentioned in the lesson, I was identifying that in order to receive the inheritance, the crown of life, life, eternal um, immortality, the reward, you have to go through the condition of the battle. In order to receive salvation, that's ultimately this work, you know, what I'm getting at. In order to be delivered, in order to be saved, you have to go through the straight gate, the sufferings, the temptations, the enduring, the chastisement. Without that, there is no salvation. Salvation does not exist. And Yahweh Shah made this very clear. All right. In order to have salvation, you have to suffer. All right? Otherwise, salvation does not exist. All right? The Lord has standards. He has conditions. He has requirements that have to be met in order for you to receive deliverance. All right? So, you know, earlier when I was on the live, I was going into... You could either serve Yahweh Bashem Shai and, you know, go down that narrow path that he has created or you can give up and not. It was, it was a simple, either you're going to serve him or you're not. You're going to endure or you're not. And again, this is a prerequisite for serving Yahweh Bashem Shai. You know, the scriptures say, if need be, you are in manifold, heavy, uh, you are in heaviness through manifold temptations. All right. And then James, the first chapter says, you know, blesses the man that endure temptation and goes through diverse temptations. There are many situations and uncomfortabilities that you're going to go through that you will have to go through in order to be delivered. Otherwise, there is no deliverance, which is why I want to get uh, this scripture. James 1 and 12, it says, blessed is a man that endure temptation. All right. Blessed is the man. Blessings are basically increasement, rewards, gifts. All right. So why would you need to be saved if you don't need to be saved? If there's no need for saving. All right. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord had promised to them that love him. Okay. See, so you have to go through the temptation. In order to receive salvation, you have to be tempted. You have to be uh, put into uncomfortable situations. All right, your, your your flesh has to be tried. All right, your spirit has to be tried. Salaka, you're gonna, and your spirit is tried through the flesh. That's what I'm trying to say. And so, uh, this is a very, um, you know, given understanding thing. That, you know, you get to count the cost. And so. Uh, 2 Corinthians, the first chapter, the fifth verse says, For as the sufferings of Hamashiach abound in us, so our consolation also abounded by Hamashiach. If so be that you go through them with him. All right. If you go through the sufferings with the Lord, all right, you endure and you cut, you get the victory, you overcome, you overpower. All right. You, you're going to receive a consolation. Now, <clears throat> a consolation can be two things. It can mean two things. All right, which is why I pulled it up it's because you need to understand that we're receiving the second consolation and not the first. All right, the word for the first 
Slocken. Let me slow down. The first definition of consolation means the comfort received by a person after a loss or disappointment. You know, you didn't make it all the way, but, you know, here's the prize. You know, sy or what it says right there, sympathy. And then you got another definition where it says a person or thing providing comfort to a person who has suffered. All right. So going back in 2 Corinthians, when you go down to the sixth verse of 2 Corinthians uh, 1 and 6, it says, And whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation. See? And whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, which is effectual in the enduring of the same sufferings which we also suffer. Or whether we be comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. So going back to the word prerequisite, in order to get salvation, you have to suffer it. All right. It will not exist. One cannot exist. One cannot exist without the other. Okay. So, and then I want to read one more. Uh, 2 Corinthians 1 and 7. It says, and our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that as you are partakers of the sufferings, so shall you be also of the consolation. So, see, so unless you go through the straight gate, unless you go, unless you are entered into many temptations, all right, unless you're put to the test and tried, you're not going to receive a reward. You're not going to receive the consolation prize for that reward or for that, that stipulation. All right. So I just, you know, I wanted to clarify that, man. Didn't want to make it too long. Hey, man, we need to go through these things in order for our salvation to exist. Otherwise, there's no salvation. So with that, you know, Lord willing, you have a better understanding of what the word prerequisite means. And then also you can under put it into, you can put it into perspective of why you have to uh, meet the requirements of the Lord. So with that, uh, on to the next one. Yehabash, Meshach, Barakatam, Kwa Meshach, Allah, Shalom.